Hi, in this video, I'll show you about our new coming FM modular mattress feature. So here we have a 16 by 16, but we also have the 8 by 8 or the 36 by 36. And this is the front panel. On the front panel, basically, we can see the input buttons, the output buttons. And for the switching, we can just press the input, then press the output button for the switches. Especially when we press the button for the switching, we can see and each button input, this one is light up and the output will light up for the corresponding. And also we can just uh, press the button, then we can see uh, which output for the input source. This is the front panel, but basically we also can use the IR for the controlling. We're back to the back side. On the back side, basically we have the input card. This card, we have one card with four ports. One HDMI input card but with four HDMI inputs with the audio embedded. And right now we have three HDMI input. And for the output, we have the HDMI output card, also same one card with four port, and this is the audio D embedded function. And here we have two new coming card, which is we call it 4K60 called view output card. And with these two card, right now we can see it's only one HDMI output. This is the RS232, which we can send in the commands to change the resolution or change the working modes. So right now, we, if we can check out these two slim HDMI cable, which is connected to these two monitors on this side. And on each monitor, we can see we already have four windows on the TVs here. And right now on this metric switcher, and we also have a uh, white line cable, which is connected to this Wi-Fi router. So let's say we can just use an iPad to control the whole system. And uh, for the, this FM module metric switcher, we will have the redundant power supply. And for the country, we will have the Oster 2 and also the uh, LAM port for the TCP IP. And we have a backup country. So now we're going to do is we're going to use an iPad to control the whole system. Here we got the iPad. For the iPad, basically, well, we can just use the application. We call it MCS, or we can just use the Google browser, the web GUI. Now we're going to choose using the web GUI to control the whole system. And we type the IP address here. Then we can just do the switchings. And this is for the 16 input. And this is the 16 output. If you want to switch the input one to all the outputs, we can use the press the input, then press the output button one by one here. We can see the switching speed is actually quite fast. This is the uh, one by one, but if we also can use the uh, shortcut here, which we can just switch the input one to all the outputs, or we can use like the input two to all the outputs. This is about the switching, and uh, we also can have this uh, metric switcher support the video wall function. Right now you can see here we actually got a one by two video wall. If we don't want the video wall, we can just delay it. Basically we can just do the settings here, and if we, we don't want this video wall, we can just delay it, or we can save the uh, video wall function as a preset. We already see some presets here, and we can see here. The first one is with the uh, video wall. We can just select the first preset, and we press load. You will have the video wall function, and the second preset is no video wall. We select, then we press load. You can see this one is actually no video wall function. And the preset three, also no video wall function. And if we switch to the video function, so this one is actually about the presets. Basically, this metric switcher can support 40 presets, as you can see. And we can rename the input, uh, the name of the presets, and also the input and output names here. We also can rename them. Uh, by the caption tab. So here we can see, we can change the input and output names here. Basically, you can see once we do the switchings, it's actually pretty fast and it can support the same switching. Switch to the input one. 
input 2, input 3, it will no black or blue screen. And for the code view car, basically we can just uh, switch into one window by just select the input, then we can just press the output. Because we have two code view output card, it's going to be uh, start from five until uh, 12. So we can just press 12. You can see what you got the switching on that display. And input three. One. Okay, thank you so much.